Okay, so I'm probably not going to be able to shoot this at home because when I go home, I'm going to want to go to sleep. So I'm going to shoot it now. Uh, week 11, I believe it was. Yes, it was week 11. The games have happened, and the ones that are worth talking about, I'm going to do that here. I'm hoping to make this a really short video. Um, so Florida lost 55 to 35. Um, they kept it close in the fourth quarter, I think, and then... LSU was like, fuck you, and they ran away with it. Um, so if you're ever wanting to take the over on Florida, you should probably do it because their defense does not exist against a team that has a potent or half potent or even 75% potent offense. Um, so the FSU game should be really interesting because they beat Tennessee at home, but then again, Tennessee hasn't been very good, and they weren't very good. Um, Florida State, however, is good, and I think they can be beaten. However, I just don't know what that would look like. So if this were a night game, um, which I don't think they're going to make it a night game for Florida FSU, I think it'd be a better shot for Florida to win just because there'd be more hype around it and all that other stuff, um, but who knows. All right, the next game, Michigan played against Penn State at Penn State, and they won. They won 24-15. to 15. And they just ran the ball the entire time. Um, I would like to say that I don't think people would be talking about this game if Penn State won as much. Because then people, I think, would probably be like, well, you know what? I guess sign stealing really was the thing that helped them. Turns out they don't need help. Um, they can just run the ball a million times over and beat you with it. Uh, apparently Penn State's defense is really, really good. Um, I don't know. Sure, I guess. All right, uh, Texas A&M fired Jimbo Fisher. That was something that was probably going to happen at the end of the year, but they did it yesterday, I think. Um, so I would say sucks for him, but I'm going to be completely honest with you. I think college football coaching at this high level is the equivalent of white man welfare because this man's getting paid $77 million not to coach a football team anymore. Um, I don't know if you've ever been paid to not do your job, but... That's what happens. Um, a comparison I wanted to make was Texas A&M and Penn State, uh, just in the terms of like school size and football size and fandom and all that other stuff. I had nothing else to say about that. Uh, Penn lost against Harvard, twenty-three to twenty-five. Um, so they're probably going to be second in the. Um, Ivy League, assuming that all the other teams that they lost to have lost as well, which I think they did, but I don't know. Um, their last game is against, oh my god, who was it against? What were those people called? Princeton, yes. Um, and other than that, what else is happening in the college football world? Oh, the Mississippi State coach was fired. Um, 11 games into the season. Um, I'm gonna be very clear i don't understand what goes into a firing overall i know it's wins and losses but i'm also just like if it's your first year you're really gonna fire someone over losing some football games because i know some coaches that have gone like they've done pretty bad and they haven't been fired their first year um i don't know i think it's somewhat impatient but i'm also factoring in what are the recruiting rankings look like what recruits are they losing what recruits are they adding and if they're losing more than they're adding um then maybe overall he hasn't been able to put together the staff um but who knows i think that staff's been together for a while since mike leach at least um so who knows who are they gonna go with i have no idea uh brady hoke who was the michigan um coach for like four years he was he wasn't fired he's retiring from coaching at the end of the year he coaches for san diego state um, it's good for him, I guess. I don't know if he get a pension or what. And lastly, man, what other, what else happened this weekend? Honestly, nothing that was surprising. Florida State played Miami and Miami lost by seven. Um, they were probably supposed to lose that game. They probably should have lost it 34 to like 10, but you know, they were able to keep it together. Um, maybe could have tied it at the end of the game. No idea. Uh, Duke played North Carolina. I think North Carolina ended up winning, so good for them. Um, 
I'm not really going to talk about the coaching situation of Texas A&M because it don't, I don't really care. I don't think Dan Lanning is getting it. I don't think um, any of the people who think they're going to get it are going to get it. Um, and for God's sakes, I hope it's not Deion Sanders because he's that's just not going to be good for him or the team or the SEC in general because it's going to be a huge wasted opportunity to hire someone who knows how to coach instead of someone who just thought plugging and playing would be a really good idea because it has not worked out so far. Um, so, yeah. Other than that, that's all I got. That's all I've had. And, yeah. Hmm.